Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. And I also want to say thank you to my new subscribers that have come to my channel. Um, I hope you continue watching uh, my videos and my tutorials and they give you some inspiration to create some lovely projects as well. So thank you uh, to all of those that had um, subscribed. Uh, I have here some projects. Uh, it uses a 6x6 paper and uh, a vellum uh, paper as well and I wanted to make some more envelopes and I sort of got the idea from this a larger window of uh, vellum envelope that I had made a while back and this also used a 6x6 paper and I'll put that uh, tutorial for you down below if you wanted the measurements for this size uh, with the larger window um, but I wanted to make it so that you can still see some more of the printed paper but also still show some of the vellum. And so I came up with this measurement here um, to make it, um, it is a little bit smaller as you can see, but it's still a, a great size to add whatever you would like in here. Um, but you can see you can see some more of the pattern of the, your pattern paper as well as the vellum. Um, so it's more of a slim vellum window, uh, slim window uh, envelope than this wider vellum size. Um, and I'm quite happy with the size and I think it's, it's a great little flat mouth size as well to add some bits and pieces and you can see it's got a, a, a nice large opening in there as well. And if you don't have any vellum paper, you can use a tracing paper or you could also use um, the plastic sleeve packaging uh, that you have. You can just cut out some of the plastic sleeve, for example, from what your packaged um on your packaging you can just cut the plastic part out if you wanted to use that and that will also work um, so these are the ones that I'd completed and decorated and turned out adorable look how adorable they turned out and I did add the paper folded strip embellishment um, that I'd done a process video um, on how to put these together so I added that to the top of the closure to uh, decorate that and then I placed a die cut from that um, from the Simple Stories Dream Big uh, die cut collection. So I just placed that there and then you can still peek through the vellum window. And then I used um, some square foam dots just to close it because I didn't want to add the string or anything in the front because I didn't want to cover the window part but you can use whatever you like for your closure and then in this one here I was able to fit one of my projects that I had done um, you've probably seen this one it's the tag shape mini pocket folder and there are a couple of pockets in here where you can put some small bits and pieces in here there's a little mini envelope it's a great little gift ID or a happy mail ID I made a cute little mini uh, file folder. There is a coin envelope and a, a tag. And then there is a cut apart and there's your other pocket. So you can still fit a few things in here. So I thought this was a great little size and it did fit in here just perfectly as well. And you've got a few things that, they, that you can put. So that fit it nicely and then this is the little tag I'll just put that in the front and then it just closes up like that and it's still not too bulky so that's a, a cute um, way to, to store those and this is the other one it's another die cut and this is another embellishment that I made uh, where I've done another process video on how to put these together uh, so perfect crafting on a budget beginners project using uh, your one inch circle punch and just create a little simple layered embellishment this also has the little square foam dots as a closure and I was able to fit one of my little booklets that I also had made which I think is a great gift a great teacher's gift um, perfect for craft fairs a stocking filler you can fit um, a gift card in here as well some tea stained oh sorry some tea bag sachets in here so again and i just think it's a, a great little size 
So they're the two that I've made and I'm also going to put these envelopes in my uh, Etsy store. So I will have a pack of four of these with random uh, paper prints. Um, it won't be embellished, it'll just be the envelope um, sort of like this one here. So it'll be like this and you'll get a pack of four random prints and you can use these uh, for yourself or you can gift them. Um, so that'll be in my shop. I then made some using book pages and my tea stained paper. So if you are into junk journaling or not into the uh, scrapbook papers um, style, you could also make them with your book pages, your digital prints, uh, your uh, music sheets, any papers you like. Uh, the bigger your paper, the bigger your uh, window vellum envelope will be. So you, it will just depend on on your size. The way to fold it is exactly the same. You'll just um, play around with your measurements to suit you and then you'll be able to get yourself a, a um, an envelope similar in a similar style. Uh, so this one here, I did decorate it with uh, some rub-on or um, there's a little butterfly in the flower and the rub-ons were the rub-on sheets that I had done an, um, an unboxing video for typology and these were the rub-on sheets that um, I had and I, do, I use the floral sheet and this is some more and I'll put the link to their store and you can use my coupon discount coupon code as well and you can use um, any of these rub-ons and so I just placed one on the front and then I did some stamping it just turned out really pretty and I'm gonna have these also in my store and it will be in the junk journal supplies category and you will get four of the book page envelopes it won't have the embellishing but they will be stamped um, like this on the book page envelopes so you will get four of these and then you can continue decorating and distressing the edges with your inks and do what you like with them so get four of those and then there will also be a, a two of these tea stain papers that i'd also um made the envelopes and this one here i had embossed so you'll get one embossed a patterned tea stained envelope and one plain one so you can also do what you like with the plain one and these ones are slightly larger than these so um, there'll be a pack of six you get two of these and four of these and they'll have the stamping so they will be also available in my shop in case you are interested in purchasing those but we'll go ahead and let's make these envelopes with the six by six paper and I'll give you the measurements. So you need your six by six paper and your vellum sheet or your tracing paper or your um, clear plastic uh, piece. And you're gonna cut that piece at two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And then you've got your six by six paper. So we'll line it up on one side and we are going to score at three quarter of an inch and five inches. So this part here is the part where you have the closure for your envelopes, just so you know with your pattern paper, so you'll have an idea. That's this part here, so that's your closure. And then we're going to turn it around this way with that part where your closure will be on the top we're going to score at one and a half inches and five and a quarter inches and we're done with the scoring there so what we'll do first we're going to we'll start with the top part with the closure we're just i'm going to turn it around up the other way we're just going to cut down straight on these two score lines i'm just going to turn around this way so you can see so i'm just going to cut up and then we'll do the same on this side, just so you know. And then we're just gonna angle cut these two sides here. So I'll just show you, just, just a little bit. So we'll go like that. And then also on this side, and then we'll remove these two little corners out. So that's that done. We'll turn it around this way now. So now you've got the closure now on the top. And these two parts, we're going to remove these two corners as well. And what we'll do, we're just going to angle cut that up. And then we'll do the same on this side. 
just a little bit. And now we'll do the same to this side and go in. Do that. So now you'll have your paper looking like that with the straight cuts at the top and then the rest angled uh, going in. And then we'll just fold this one over now in. And we'll fold this side in just so you can see how it's assembled. So this is now the size of your envelope. And then you've got the gap and that's where the window uh, the vellum piece will go on the inside. I'm just going to fold this up. That will close up the bottom. And now with the closure, you can corner around your corners. If you don't have um, a corner around a punch, you can just slightly angle cut these two sides in if you like to decorate that part, or you can just leave it. But I'll just do that. So now you'll have your closure here like that. And then you've got your opening. We're just going to open this up now. We'll grab your uh, vellum piece and we're just going to add some a bit of glue. We're going to glue the three sides. So I'm going to glue. I've got glue on my fingers. I'm just going to glue one side. and one side of the bottom so just the three sides and what I normally do because it's a little bit bigger I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the edge here and just stopping about there and the same to this side and adding a little bit of glue here stopping about there and then I'm also going to glue just along the bottom here just along the edge And I'm going to place that inside like that. Bring this in. The, the reason why I put the glue on the edge here is so that it will seal it off here. So I'm just going to line that up. Now you can, you'll can, you see that the vellum piece doesn't line up with the top there. I did that on purpose. I really wanted it to just sort of sit below the uh, edge. So I'm just going to place it about here. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't touch here either because you're not going to see that and then before i bring this over i'm just going to see and make sure that that part is nice and straight as or as straight as i can and then i'll just place that you can also line the edge with the fold here if you wanted to make that um, just for your guide but i like it how it sits low so i measured that height as three and a half inches you can go all the way up and, and adjust your measurements if you want it a little bit higher. So you can adjust your measurements for your vellum piece. And then close that up. And there is your pocket with your window all done. And that's why I glued the edges here so it will glue that down. And there is your closure. And there you have your uh, slim window vellum uh, envelope and that's all there is to that and then it's the same with your longer papers I don't have let me see if I got um, you all you do uh, I've, tea, I've used one of my tea stain papers so if you have something longer and you want to make it bigger you just fold it over so you don't even need to use the school to, uh, this the, um, scoreboard you can fold this over and just sort of Move it around to where you would like your vellum window. You can have it on this side if you like and go that way. As long as you just give yourself a gap and then decide how wide you want your window to be. And then you will just, if you're happy with that opening, you just press one side down and then press this side down. And then that's the length of your window, uh, sorry, the length of your envelope. And then just fold this one up just a little bit just to create the closure for the bottom and then your closure you can also decide how far down you want your closure you can go all the way down to here if you like you can go a little bit higher so you just work out where you would like your closure for your envelope so 
that's that part's done then all you do now is you're going to open it all up and then you follow the guide of your fold where you need to make your cut so this part here is your closure you're just going to cut straight down along these two and then you will angle cut the next or the bottom part so i'll do that and then do that and then just go over here And then with these two bottom ones, we're going to remove those two and angle cut there and there. Just follow the fold. And then that's that way. And then you just, you've got your envelope with that opening. And then you will just measure out your um, vellum window sheet. And just give allowing a bit of room here so you can glue um, glue them inside and then that's where you'll place your um, film piece and then you've got yourself your envelope with your window so I hope this was a simple um, tutorial for you where you can make these lovely fun window envelopes and I'll have these listed in my shop if you're interested in purchasing the um, printed papers or the uh, book page ones and I'll have them in my shop uh, available for you if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial making these um, lovely adorable little window envelopes and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye for now.